I was chair for the Games Creation Society last year um, and organised a couple of events with that. I've worked for Play Magic during the summer and I've now returned to Teesside to do my Masters in Psychology. I started my, my game studies in Lisbon and Portugal uh, in animation and video games and I decided to swap to games design so I had a look at several universities um, and I, I like the structure of the games design course. It's been recognised in, in the industry already so when I had my interviews people recognised the name on my CV um, and it has a good reputation. Um, the course offers you various opportunities to get industry, industry standard um, experiences. I feel like the course itself gave me a lot of opportunities to develop my skills but what really set me apart and taught me a lot of different skills needed in industry was the fact that I was involved with the society and with school rep and other opportunities like anything that I could get my hands on I just tried it and that gave me a lot of experience on how to behave in a professional environment, how to attend meetings, how to organise things, how to be professional about um, issues and how to work in teams, all of these kind of skills, how to work with the different areas, so with programmers and artists and get knowledge about what they're actually doing as well, so not just being specialised specialized on, on my subject but also being aware of what they need and what they are doing, so when I design the games that I know what is possible and what isn't. So I've had a three months experience in Malta at Playmagic where I've got a chance to um, get more skills to develop within game balancing and games design, system design, all of these sorts. It's a medium sized company so I got the opportunity to get my hands on several things which was quite nice. Um, and then I've decided to come back to do my masters in psychology because I'm, I'm interested uh, on one side, on research in games, what players feel, how can we uh, improve design to to get more out of the players, um, maybe use games for, for good things, um, so if people have some sort of issues that we can design games to actually help them, um, design games to create awareness about topics in society, things like that. So starting from January I will be working on some site projects um, and I'll be doing a prototype for an educational game. Um, which I'm looking forward to and trying to apply what I've acquired with my masters to, to this project, yeah. I've also been playing around with the idea of setting up my own company and doing board games with technical um, aspects, so like companion apps and things like that. I started out with art and then I went into multimedia and animation and then I, was, I wasn't sure if I wanted cinema, television or video games and I thought video games is is kind of the most multimedia that you can get. You get everything out of there, you get audio, visual, interaction, all of that. And I felt that I really could um, develop like a professional passion, doing a lot of things for the students here, um, doing things where they analyze games, design games, game jams, sport games, all of these things. Um, but then there's also other events going on, which is nice to keep the, the community together. So I think that's like a plus factor of for anyone who's looking at where to study games because all of this enriches your CV and your opportunities and all of that.